人和早报网站十月二十。Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In TSMC's first quarter results, chip revenue in mainland China increased to 11% from 11% in the same period last year, exceeding last year's 6%. This means that after more than a year of waiting, TSMC has improved its manufacturing process. The advantages in the manufacturing process prevent local manufacturers from continuing to develop the seven nanometer process. I the urgency of developing new technologies. On the 5G base station side, due to the high power of 5G base stations, operators have to temporarily stop 5G base station services. The advanced processing technology of 5G base station chips can effectively reduce the energy consumption of 5G base stations. Therefore, ZTE, China's second largest communications manufacturer, has also begun use TSMC 5NM process to make 5G 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 base station chips. In 2021. The domestically produced Unisoc will use TSMC's six nanometers process and Unisoc's sudden emergence in the field of 5G mobile phones. It will inevitably form a 5G technology against Qualcomm and MediaTek with TSMC's five nanometers process technology. The four major domestic manufacturers, including Xiaomi. OPPO and Vivo have all realized the importance of independent chips and have invested in their own chip research. Oppo's Mariana X chip uses TSMC's 6 nanometers process technology, while other manufacturers will new products are released one after another. So they must use TSMC's 6 nanometers. Or above process technology to compete with them. SMIC, China's top local semiconductor company, has also begun large-scale mass production of the seven nanometers process. However, the seven nanometers process still uses the deep ultraviolet lithography process. Its performance and energy consumption are not as good. As the seven nanometers EUV process, TSMC mainly uses the seven nanometers EUV process. Technological innovation, but the deep ultraviolet lithography used in the previous seven nanometers process has been ranked in the next generation. Chip production process, obviously. Although SMIC has mastered the seven nanometers process, it is still some distance away from TSMC, let alone TSMC's mass production on the three nanometers process. Therefore, more than a year has passed, and TSMC has also begun to invest funds on a large scale. This is not surprising. Because the development speed of technology is so fast, as time goes by, they and foreign companies, the distance between chip manufacturers is getting farther and farther. Two stacking chips cannot help local chips compete with Apple. TSMC has obtained its own chips, which means that it will take a long time. For Chinese semiconductor companies to catch up with TSMC. However, SMIC's process technology is still more than three generations behind TSMC. This fact is what they have to face. In order to make up for the backwardness of domestic chip manufacturing processes, domestic chip manufacturers have developed their own chip stacking processes. And obtained patents. They hope to integrate this technology with China's existing chip manufacturing processes to improve their performance and enable them 
to compete with international advanced processes. Capabilities, however, this route has been impacted by manufacturers such as TSMC. It is unclear when domestic chip manufacturers will be able to industrialize the chip stacking process. TSMC has commercialized a similar chip stacking process. TSMC launched a 3 dwi chip for a British chip factory at the beginning of this year. Experiments have proven that the performance of the 3 nanometers process under the 7 nanometers process is 40% higher than that of the 5 nanometers process and is improved compared to the 5 nanometers process. Apple has also joined forces with TSMC to create M1 Pro MAX through a unique welding process. The operating speed of M1 Pro MAX has been greatly improved. The M1 Pro MAX surpasses Intel's 12th generation i9 processors, and at this point, it's the best. In addition, the Chip Cluster Alliance, established by TSMC and Intel uses advanced packaging technology to integrate a large number of chips, greatly improving the overall performance of the chips. It is obvious that the commercialization achievements of chip stacking are still the biggest success of mainland China chip manufacturers. Incomparable in this way, TSMC is in a leading position in the semiconductor industry and in the packaging of commercial integrated circuits. Correspondingly, Apple will master this technology as soon as possible, so domestic chip manufacturers want to it will become more difficult to contend with it. In fact, it is not only difficult for domestic mobile phone chip manufacturers to compete with Intel, but also Android mobile phone chips are far behind Apple. This is largely due to the fact that Android chips currently use the core of the public version of AIM, and so far, Apple is the only mobile phone manufacturer with its own independently developed core architecture and so far, there's only one AIM processor that can compete with Intel's M-Series. The leading positions of Intel M-Series and TSMC in chip production and packaging will inevitably make it difficult for domestic manufacturers to compete with Apple. If you want your country to take the lead, it is not enough to rely on a semiconductor company. You must have mainland China's chip industry, which has made new progress in various fields, from photolithography to photoresist to technologies in other fields. All have made great progress, making the gap between the domestic semiconductor industry and China smaller and smaller. There is still a long way to go in areas other than the semiconductor industry, and the semiconductor companies in mainland China naturally couldn't wait that long. So they also bought TSMC this year. 